welcome to Wednesdays on ShopTube. Today, it is I, the Robert, the Pointer, the me. Am I fabulous yet? <laughs> so yeah, today, I mean, what? This week's theme is introduction week. So hey, my name's Robert Pointer. Can I leave now? What are you thinking? Well, this has been fun. <laughs> That's not how quick this video is gonna be. <laughs> I am talking to my biggest fan. <laughs> Get it? Get it? <laughs> it's like 40 degrees here. So if you guys don't know who I am, I own a channel called Robert Pointer. Wow, wouldn't have expected that. I post videos on there that are completely random. I just do whatever video ideas come to my head. So yeah, I own Wednesdays on this channel. So, I'm going to be telling you a little bit about me on this Wednesday afternoon. We're going to snuggle up. It's like 40 degrees. Things about me. I love Disney. I would sing the songs from Disney if I could sing. I like, um, yeah, I love Disney. All the Disney movies have a special place in my deep, dark soul. But one that really screams out to me lately was Moana, obviously. The music in it was just amazing. The like fact that they have like an Islander princess now and how she doesn't even need a prince to be happy and she's just perfect. She's like the perfect, oh my God, she's so funny. She's like quirky. She don't need a dress in high heels. She go barefoot everywhere. She is like the princess of the millennium of my Manila, Manila. Millennium, millennium, millennium. Millennium. I just love Disney. You get it, right? <laughs> Everything has changed. In the last I see the light. And the sky, has, I mean, and the fog has, has lifted, this, and the sky is somehow shifting. The other thing I love doing is dancing. I love dancing. Literally, like, every time I'm bored, I would just get up and dance, like, put on some sort of music. <laughs> doesn't. <laughs> but no, like, I do dance as one of my electives at school. So that's cool. I have a slight obsession with anime, okay? Like a... <laughs> I'm like so obsessed with Japan in general, it's not even fun. Anime, anime is just amazing. Like, the anime that I just finished watching is No Game, No Life, watch it now. It's amazing. I saw Shadow was big, get me all the things. It's such a good series, and I was so sad for it to be over because there's no second series. But I've just recently started watching Yuri on Ice, which is amazing. It's so good, it's so good. I actually want to talk about my YouTube history because I actually started YouTube all the way back in 2012. I was in year five. You can imagine how bad that YouTube channel was. I was like, sweet, I'm making this YouTube channel. And like, I was already vlogging. Like, I had a YouTube channel before that, which was with my friend, the Zappy Boys Game TV. Oh my God, her name, good job, yes. I never actually got well, I did, I got like the sign in details because it was kind of like a collab channel with me and my friend. And my friend changed the password one day. Like I uploaded the first episode of my vlog and then he changes the password. Oh, hey dude, what was the password? Like what was the sign in for the channel again? And he tells me, I'm like, mm-mm, bitch, that not working. And my first channel, um, 
I created because I was like, look, I'm not going to share a channel with someone. <laughs> look where I am now. But no, I'm not going to share a channel with someone because I know, like, like people can betray you. So, like, I was like, I'm going to stay away from that side of things. So, I made my own channel. And it was really good. It was really successful. I'm kidding. It wasn't. But they were of the most random videos I have ever seen. The cringiest, the... The musically worthy videos. We'll go back to musically in a second. It was an okay channel. Well, at the time for me, I thought it was hilarious. I was like, I'm gonna get so many subscribers, I'm gonna get so many likes, so many views, I'm gonna be so famous. My next channel was like an unboxing channel with one of my friends at the time, Rocco. <sighs> Did I mention cringe worthy before? No, that was nothing compared to this. It was such a cringy channel. You can find all these channels, right? Bam, bam, bam. This one was my like third most recent. We did like unboxings of toys and stuff like that. It wasn't that bad of a channel. Like we had quite a few subscribers, I guess, like 20 something. But like, it was, it was a fun, it was a fun channel to make, I will admit that, but it was like really bad, like the editing. Then, my next channel after that, eventually Rocco didn't want to do it anymore, so I was like, I'm going back to doing it by myself so I don't have to rep 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 rely on anyone. I created RP Circus, my initials RP and then Circus because I used to do Circus. I remember on my first video, which was like a Five Nights at Freddy's video, I didn't know how to edit or anything like that. But on my second video, I found the magical thing called editing. I was using YouTube Editor, so I was like, oh my god, I found that you can edit on YouTube. It's amazing. It wasn't amazing, and YouTube Editor is useless at most things. I got quite a few subscribers, well for me it was quite a few, like 40 something, 48 maybe, or 50. And I was really happy, I was like, this channel's lifting off, I'm really excited. But then randomly on Australia Day 2016, I was like, what the hell am I doing with my life? I can do so much better than this. So I decided to create the channel I have now, which is Robert Pointer. I created a really cool intro, I was like, whoa, never done this before, it works really well. I started off with still editing on my computer, filming on my computer, editing on my computer, then I got a better phone, I started using better editing stuff, iMovie is what I edit with now, and it's actually really good, like surprisingly, you wouldn't think that iMovie's that good, but if you have a good quality camera, it's amazing, it's like the best quality you can have. I created an intro, I created channel art, I created everything. I was like so, I was building this channel. I was like, this is my new channel. I got my friend Lachlan to design some icons for me. I designed like a back thing. I got that channel set up. And then this channel, like, all the design that went into the channel, all of, like, the art, all of the stuff, the intro that you saw at the beginning of my video, um, it's just, it's gonna be fun. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, I don't know how long it's gonna last, maybe it's my fifth channel that I lost, or who knows, but, yeah, we'll just see how this goes. I wanna move back to Musical.ly, because I used to make Musical.ly's, I thought I was so good, and apparently other people did too. I now have, oh my phone, well last time I checked, 1,050 fans, which it's not something to be proud of, well in my case, but I was really happy. So just recently on my main channel, I passed 100 subscribers, yay, my tiny milestone there. I promise the videos from now on are going to be a lot more fun than this, but like what do you do for like an introduction week other than introduce yourself? I bet you everyone else on this channel has thought of better ideas than me. Thanks guys. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on this video and tell everyone about this channel. Spread the news like in a, like get a paper airplane, write down shook tube and like send it to someone. Don't forget to check out this, this 
the description for all the information, the music, my channel, everything. Leave a comment what you want to see next on this channel. We do have to come up with ideas for topics for every week, so feel free to leave a week that you want to see in the comments on any of our videos. We will check it. And um, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe! I post every second day. Isn't that like so on top of things? Tune in to next week because next week's theme is Tag Week. Ooh, interesting. Anyway, I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye!